Okay, we're going to go into the first game I ever had where I did pretty much everything wrong. <laughs> so, this is my base. I did end up with a jet ski. This is my little boat dock. And I have one or two all the way around, I think. But I wasted all of my stuff on this nonsense. You know what? Let me see if I can grab... It's gotta be in one of these. Yeah, there it is. Go through that. And the box. What happened here? Yeah, that'll work. Cause I didn't know that you could delete these. I haven't played this since I found out. Might as well get rid of them so they're not in the way. Okay, so yeah, I wasted all of my resources on this nonsense. Um, I did quick. I did make it quite far. Let's see, we got we're nothing in there. Um, over here is my kitchen. Where I don't know. I kind of built one of everything. I built this fridge. It's not great, but it looks cool. And then over here, I kind of have a makeshift bedroom. I built the smaller bed. I built one of these safes, and it has terrible, <laughs> terrible storage. Um, and then over here is like my furnace ammo room. So I built pretty much everything you can think of. What's out this? Oh, so I think I had it extended quite a bit and I had a much larger room at one point. Oh, that's like my welcome mat. Okay. Oh, that's my cabinet sticking through the wall. Yeah, I had a really awful time trying to defend this place. Um, I put all these doors in, but then I had no cover, and yeah, it, it didn't last long. But I was thinking that I would show how to build a boat house, I guess would be the term. Let me drop this stuff. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need any of that. And then yeah, I can put these in this one. Okay, so I'm just going to do this with metal. Obviously, going with um, iron ingots will be easier, especially for one point of it, just because you're basically, basically going to destroy a part of it. You kind of have to. Since these stack in 15, it feels like I don't have any scrap metal at all. Since I'm not playing this, I could probably take apart a lot of the outside. I'm just going to take everything that's here, and then I'm going to build where my boats are. Um, yeah, and I'll take this. I'm probably actually going to have to move my boats. And I'm going to have to move these. Do I have room? I do. Excuse me? Okay. And we'll get rid of these two. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Alright, let's move these out. And we'll put them um, we'll just over here. Yeah, so this is where I built on the map. <coughs> right by the trader, and I think this is small rock. Yeah, so I just built in between this stuff. I still wanted to be close to the home island for wood, and this island for wood nor, and then the trader. I figured that would be a good spot to go. Now I just gotta move the jet ski over. Just 
thing eats gas. Just destroys it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. You know what? Can I get... Not really. Okay, that might be a problem. But definitely need to move this ladder first. And then... I'm gonna put one over here real quick. <clears throat> that way I, ca I can get up. Okay. <clears throat> so obviously the first part of building your boathouse is gonna be figuring out how big you want it. Um, and then you're just going to want to fill in I mean, it's easier if you just fill in everything. I think your best bet is going to be to make it too high and make the inside opening. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll do those. Well, yeah, but I you're going to want to make the opening for your boats at least too wide because if you have a sailboat then you're going to want that sucker oh, I always do that to have a lot more room getting in okay there we go Alright, so now what we're going to want to do is put up some walls. And it looks like at some point I am going to run out of metal. So we'll start with these. And see how we go. I think I'm going to end up making it three wide just so it's symmetrical. don't mind me I don't really care which way the walls go it, it does not bother me at all okay and a door all right now we can get rid of these so we can literally put them pretty much everywhere anywhere until we run out of scrap. Okay, I got a little bit more scrap. Not a lot. But let's see. Um, just some wherever. Um, on the edges. much more be able to do not many two more okay <coughs> keep working on these walls I, uh, I managed to go get a little bit more so that's many I'm going to leave that because we're going to want the opening too high and we need some more pillars for that though. Let's see how that does. Whichever ones will let me build up a second, I'm just going to go ahead and do those. And that one. 
Okay, and then let's put a roof on this bad boy. Or a floor, rather. Stand right here and do the whole thing. Okay. Looks like we may have a problem, child. So let's build. Oh, let's build two poles in this corner. And then let's put four up there. All right. So now, got everything. Let's take out all the pillars. basically the same as building you a really nice size like warehouse base for the most part except you just leave a humongous like garage door there I'm gonna leave the ones in the walls um, that doesn't bother me any and then I'll start taking these out so the next thing would be figure out and I guess it makes sense to leave that one there. And yeah, we'll just leave uh, one square walkway, walkway all the way around. The other thing I think that could look cool is if you did maybe a couple glass walls. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So you did a glass wall here and a glass wall here and give it kind of some windows. Obviously, if you do this in iron, it's going to look a lot better. And then when you demolish stuff, you'll get all of your resources back. But uh, when you're at the point when you need a boathouse, you're not really that concerned about losing scrap metal. <laughs> so I don't think it would be much an issue you then let's see and then we just need to build what are we going down so deep okay maybe a ladder down here a ladder in the middle and one right there please thank you okay and then we'll put some torches here. Definitely need one in this corner. Then another one over here. There you go. Let's get our boats. jet ski. Look at that thing, it's humongous. You could probably put some more walls there. You could probably just build it right into your base to where you walk through that door and that's your base. And this this might be a a good place if you if you have um if you have at least two or three boats, um, outside of that, I don't know if you're going to want to keep them this close to your base, but if you have two or three boats that you're not using, like say you 
you don't use the motorboat anymore, you use the marine boat or like the um, the sailboat, this would might be a good option for you. And you could always enclose this. You could just add these three and then maybe even put the metal gate there. I wonder what that would look like. Let's try that. So say I'm never going to use these boats anymore, but I want to keep them safe. So let's build... Where... Where's my brain? There it is. So let's build these three again. And then... Let's put some metal defensive walls. Our gate here. Right in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then you could even do... If you made it... If you made the opening a little bit bigger, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't overlap. But... You could even do this. There you go. Pretty cool.